what is cooking boys so this is a new one i've never done this on this channel before but we're essentially going to be watching highlights from a really interesting game i played on stream and i'm just gonna you know crack open a cold one and kind of just narrate it as we go uh not only am i gonna make fun of myself for being a dumbass uh we also get to see what i could have done better and hopefully learn from it the plan here is you know i don't get to play a lot of games every uh week so try and make the best out of the games i do play and learn what i can from them and also show you how absolutely ridiculous EUS master tier really is so sit back relax and enjoy let's go can you ping your ping <laughs> That's pretty insane. That's actually crazy. That's the lowest ping I've ever had. Holy shit. Oh, they lowered ping? Damn. That's crazy. They literally made the internet faster. That's fucking nuts. Plus, oh my gosh, I can even see the bonus XP. We actually hit two so quick. That's absurd, dude. What is this champion? How quick do you hit two on this champ? It's broke. We hit. Yeah, so here I'm kind of just freaking out about how much XP Neela gets. I think this passive is definitely going to get nerfed. I don't think there's any way around it. I feel like it's just not a balanced passive. And even in the case where they do like lower the XP numbers, it's still going to be really strong. Any sort of passive which gives you like a massive XP advantage just for playing the game is going to be broken as hell. And I think pro play is going to is going to show that as well. That if she can get into a duo lane, there could even be some shenanigans where you know junglers share XP, they share big Nilo waves, and stuff could get pretty wild pretty quickly. I don't think it's going to stick around to be honest. It's absurd, and you're going to see in this game just how absolutely insane our XP lead gets and for some reason kindred i don't know what the heck this kindred was doing in this position she just randomly dies for literally no reason and i decide to try and go for a quick trade because they have no cooldowns we get a little bit of damage on chin but yeah i am confused as to what kindred just tried to do there yeah me too buddy and here, Elise was just roaming around in our jungle. This Elise was like hyper fed off of our Yasuo top. So I really wanted to shut down. I flashed for this knowing I would die. What I didn't expect is Renata's W to be so annoying. I think it's her W that keeps people alive. But uh, this could have gone way worse. You're about to see some, you know, this was definitely some, some Neela shenanigans, some RNG going in my favor here. Maybe she wins this. Yeah, she does. Good shit. Okay, that was really good. How much better is it? Than it's not even a competition. Zillions has a lot of drawbacks, a lot of big drawbacks. It's 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 so much better than Zillions. It's unreal. And my is dead again. Yeah, good job, Yasuo. Zillion Zillions has a, a large number of drawbacks. It's flat XP. Yeah, you have to stand still to actually send it. Neela CSs properly. It's a much lower amount. They can't even fight us. This is so is so illegal. So Yasuo is like chain inting top, but as you can see, we're like hard zoning them, and they have zero way of fighting us. We are two levels up on Neela. So if they walk in range, there's literally nothing they can do. Um, I try and go for the Jin first, we're not the body blocks, but Jin still dies because we're bounced late. And then this is just, you know, us literally bullying the living crap out of Jin. The guy is so far behind at this point, it's, it's you know... GG! This game is looking pretty chill. I think this game is going to be still a little bit tricky just because Yasuo is getting pounded into the dirt, but... As long as I can CC either Elise or Camille in a fight, I think we're chilling. Yeah, so I'm, t I'm basically need to shut down the Camille because she's like hyper fed. This fight started because Kindred randomly was invading when we had no prio. She gets caught and I'll be honest, I think I should have just let Kindred die here. We're not fighting over anything in particular and it's just a giant waste of our time. And Camille gets like a gazillion gold. They get the shutdown on Annie and the shutdown on Kindred. And yeah, this turns into like just a total like disaster. Yikes! Camille uh, got to our backline. If I don't CC Camille, it's pretty doomed. Oh my god, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Yeah. So, again, I, I think mid-game, you're gonna see a lot of this. Nah, but... What the fuck was that, dude? That was unbelievably int, what she just did. That was unbelievably int, what she just did. That was incredible. We knew where every single member of their team was and she still did that. That was insanity. Yeah, so I'm whining about Kindred because this was like the third time she got caught doing something dumb. And I really don't know what she was thinking. We were setting up for Drake and we had full vision on the whole enemy team. But this is a really important point during the game. I missed a hook here onto Camille and Camille ends up getting onto my Nila and just one-shotting her ass. And then, you know, they just clean up because their team comp is really, really good at chasing and CCing people from 
who are trying to run from them. Yeah, that was my bad. I should have been able to stop Camille there. If I had landed the hook onto Camille, I think we, we might just get like straight up win the game right there. And again, Kindred getting caught. I, I'm really not sure what this Kindred was doing. Keep in mind, this is master tier US. Like just, she's just in these really strange positions. Oh, oh. She keeps getting caught in every single fight. She starts the fights like, why? Why don't you don't need to. Despite me whining about this, the best way, the best thing for me to have done was just to stop trying to save her and instead get vision wherever she isn't. This was another really big misplay, but this time by me, this was my first massive misplay. So I start a fight that was just terrible. Like I go onto an Elise thinking that Annie might be able to follow up after I ult with her full combo and we can one shot Elise. It was a really bad call. I end up dying and we also, yeah, Yasuo. Okay, our Yasuo has died again. He's died 11 times. Yeah, we have an 11 death Yasuo. I haven't really mentioned that that much, but honestly, at this point, Yasuo's in Soliki, you kind of know that they're going to go like 50 and 0 or 0 and 50, so. Annie gets a really good flash onto Elise, and I think I shouldn't actually start the fight here on the back end because we should just take the Elise kill and get away. Ow. Instead, what you're going to see is the fact that the enemy team is just so good at chasing, we we get picked off even after we win well, the we fight. So. Shut down, that's good. Jin's actually got a bounty despite him looking... Look at his farm, bro. He's so far behind, but he's got a bounty because these guys are just stomping top and jungle so hard. Look at this Jin's CS. Like, the fact that 140 CS at 24 minute Jin has a bounty is kind of insane. The bounty system confuses the living hell out of me sometimes. Like the bounty should be on anyone but Jin at this point. So the enemy team was getting really cocky and pushing into our base randomly and we start a pretty decent fight. I managed to dodge the last Jin shot with my flash this is and Yasuo gets a good R but we are so far behind it doesn't even matter. And at this point I thought the game was over. But then I think Camille might throw, might have thrown the game here by because she loses all of her HP and she can't easily walk up because Annie can one shot her now. And I, I honestly think Camille just threw the game right there. I get the shutdown, which really sucks. I should, you know, I should have tried to maybe give it to Neela. But at the end of the day, we save the game, so you know, it is what it is. The enemy team kind of sprinted it, because I think we can get Drake now. Maybe even Nash. Yasuo has decided to suicide. What a wonderful play. Brilliant. Good job, my dude. Well, I'm a little tilted, not gonna lie. This Yasuo hasn't engaged his brain. So this is another really important part of the game. I thought I caught Camille. What I didn't check is that she has stopwatch and she actually saves her E for a beautiful time to really to get away from my ult. And this just starts an absolutely horrible fight. So this stopwatch was oh disgustingly good. I should have checked before I went for that. GG, the stopwatch that saves the game. Oh my god. Fuck. So, I'm still looking at this thinking there's like a 99% chance we lose here because like, I don't know, they, did, they didn't actually manage to kill the towers fast enough because Yasuo killed the wave. So maybe the 1 in 15 Yasuo just saved the game. Like, I don't know. I think he might have. So don't sleep on your 1 in 15 Yasuos. Trust me. Be able to, they, could, they can't end actually. Wait, guys, hold on, hold on, just wait. And I was thinking in the game, I could have killed Corky if I just held my hook and walked towards him instead of trying to hook him because he's obviously going to W. And then on the back end of that play, Camille ends up just, I don't know what this was. She just randomly is recalling in our in our jungle and I, I punish her for it. This is like a high elo game, semi high elo, and you'd, you'd be surprised at how often this happens. That's a big shutdown. We got Nash now. People just recalling in the middle of hold nowhere. Up, hold up, hold up. No more stop watching Camille, so she can't do dumb shit like that. Another really crazy play. I don't know if I thought about this properly. We trade my life for their support and their junglers. And honestly, this was such a burger flip by me. Like I did not know that this play was gonna go that well. And I just went for the hook. I think I should have been a little bit more patient. Trading my life for Elise and uh, Renata. We get Nash, I'm happy. But there's the copium boys. I'm trying to like severely copium my way through that decision. I don't actually think I should go for that decision again if I if I replayed that. I, I think my Annie just, you know, yeah, my Annie just managed to one shot Renata. Whatever, I'll take it. If I can win this one, then the promo's hope is still alive, so. And then Yasuo immediately goes and does something dumb. Classic Yasuo. Yeah, my promos, the last two promos have gone pretty hilariously. My Yasuo's, you know, just chain. He's like rage splitting. Yeah, he's been a part of three kills. I don't know what the hell is this guy doing. These guys are absolutely like insane. <laughs> it's crazy. Although, would you guys believe me if I said this isn't even the worst promo luck I've ever had? Like six promos in a row or five promos in a row, sorry. Yeah, 
I honestly, guys, I've had, I've probably lost like 15 to 20 promos in a row back when I was I like grinding in and out of Master, <laughs> when Grandmaster didn't exist. I, I have had some horrendous He's promo luck, so this hard. doesn't even scratch my top 10 promo streak I've ever played. So yeah, it's, it's pretty depressing. So Annie gets caught here because obviously it wouldn't be League of Legends Master Elo without someone randomly getting caught. But I'm going to be honest, this was Annie's only mistake in the game. And she played amazingly other than this, so I can totally understand. Sometimes you just, you're playing really, really well and hard carrying and then, and then this happens. Neela just pops off. Shit, that was huge. Absolutely disgusting combo. The Neela flash R into the Yasuo R. And she sets up a three-man Yasuo ulti and we still somehow like almost, like still somehow nearly die because the enemy team are so Wait. fed. That was insane, bro. Nila's flash was cracked. But yeah, Nila just completely popped off. That was also a 4v5. And we end up getting soul off of that. And then while we're roaming around in our top jungle just after soul, this, this massive fight starts. And uh, I'll, I gotta be honest, I, I don't know why I hooked the wall. I think I'm just stupid. But yeah, the enemy team shouldn't really necessarily be fighting there. This game. I can't believe we fucking won this game. I cannot believe we won this game, dude. And I think I'm overreacting just a tiny I bit am, here because there's no chance I we can win the game. We don't have enough towers and they have Corky who can wave clear. Much of a roller coaster this game has been, dude. I don't think we can end. <laughs> yeah, we can end. Ah! Get me out. Oh my god, it continues. This was a really big mistake by me. I shouldn't have hooked there. I should have just let Kindred die and tried to save my flash hook for another time. But the enemy team ends up misplaying afterwards, directly after. So I'm just buying time for my team by uh, CCing Jin and Renata. That ulti honestly wasn't very good. I didn't need to ult there. I could have waited till my team was nearby and then flash R the Jin. But either way, Jin same result. Now. Easy peasy. But we still can't end. What a fucking game. What a game, bro. <laughs> Get me out! So here we were just, you know, setting up vision around Baron and the enemy face checks us, but my Neil is a psychopath and dashes into an Elise cocoon, which is hilarious. My main priority is making sure my Camille or their Camille can't one shot my Neela, and at this point Neela is so insanely strong. Oh! That combo of Nila ult into Yasuo ult is one of the most filthy- Why are we ending? Yeah, I thought we could end here. My team wants to play it safe. But yeah, the Nila Yasuo combo starts coming in clutch here. And I, you know, I was about to make a dumb play and flash over the wall with none of my teammates nearby, but I decided against it. And then I throw the world's widest hook. And, uh, but my Yasuo decides that he wants to join the game and he switches his monitor on. So at this point, I'm tripping right now. I can't believe this game, guys. I'm fucking shook. I am ending stream after this just to recharge my brain. I need to eat food. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm tripping balls. This is Master Elo, by the way. Allegedly. <laughs> this is allegedly Master Elo in the US. Yeah, I mean, so what's happening in this game is really feels like a Diamond 4 game from two or three seasons ago. And I really do strongly believe that Riot needs to probably look at how many people are allowed in Master because I think eight to 9,000 people in Master kind of defeats the point of having a very prestigious role like Master because it's supposed to be the top of the top ladder, people fighting for Challenger and Grandmaster. Okay. But hey -o, I mean, this game was a shit show. Again, GG. That was a really good Kindred ulti. She tanked the Renata ult for us. And yeah, that's GG. I don't even think I needed to. I think I just needed to ult Camille earlier. Boom! League of Legends at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. What a ridiculous game, guys. Absolutely fucking bonkers. I have no words to describe that game. All I can say is... <laughs> Fuck, yeah, I don't know. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, if you like this kind of format, let me know in the comments. I can definitely do more of these. They're really fun and they also help me improve. So yeah, if you enjoyed that, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel. And yeah, have a nice week. Cheers.